Oh, what is up, you lovely, beautiful people? Welcome to a little bonus section of the Gothenburg videos. Now, this is literally right after I left you guys in the last video when we were at top on the top of that fortress. Um, I rode out here, it actually rained on me on the way here and I was friggin freezing. Legs, I tell you, I need to put more layers on. But anyway, just arrived at the botanical gardens and I packed all the helmet away and that sort of stuff but I've just been on these little dirt trails and I thought it'd just be such a cool interesting video because we're not around the city environments and we're amongst all these Oh, these beautiful trees, they smell so nice. Just different vibe, getting away from the city environment. Uh, so I thought I'd just turn you on real quick and uh, take you for a little spin around the botanical gardens here in Gothenburg. It's beautiful, it's just so nice being around trees. Um, this is what my, well my home isn't exactly like this, but we have lots of trees on the land big gum trees lots of uh, pine trees smells so nice uh, I just miss being around trees you know these are so important yeah this is lovely there's actually a bit of a, a bit of a ride outside the city there my battery dropped slightly um, but I think we're alright now we are all right. So anyway, riding around the gardens, it's so nice and peaceful. I love, look at all this moss. <laughs> Some stairs there. I'll actually do a little Yui and go through this way. <laughs> Again, go in places where, I don't know what any of the Divide, you know, a bike or an actual unicycle would do pretty well, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think just the one wheel allows you to get in and around all these tricky little corners and do those little U turns. Oh, there's a little viewing platform at the top there. I wonder if we can follow this path around and it might take us at the top. So many little. Um, little laneways it's awesome here we go going up a little bit I just love going uphill on these uh, on the EUC it's just so satisfying it does take quite a bit more balance there's a lot more pressure in your feet especially when there's a bump like that and then you slow down oh, tense hold it all together Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. Such a lovely time. I came here to take some photographs because of all the leaves and stuff. So, yeah, it's a nice time to come. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What have we got? So, that's it. There's a little bridge down there. We will take the bridge down. Yeah, let's do that. Um, see where that takes us. More of the peaceful vibes. Whew. Yeah, this is lovely. Good on this little... Kind of just like all the... <laughs> little laneways here good for your riding skills this is my favourite type of riding all these sort of intricate more balancey you know once you start getting the straight stuff going it's always good to test your skills on or improve your skills on should we go up there Oh, flipping egg. Oh, flipping egg. I went to turn then. My, my right foot is a bit wet. 
and he just slid off the pedal. <laughs> so I was on just one foot. <laughs> oh. But thankfully, oh flipping heck, look at this. I'm not sure about this. Oh no, 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 no. Not committing to that. Wasn't worth it. There's some sharp rocks poking out there. Oh, where have I come to? Flipping heck, I think there's some stairs here. Let's go back around. So we can find that way. Is that more stairs? Yes, I think we're going to have to take stairs. But we'll just pick it up. Boop. <laughs> I do have these waterproof shoes on. My big fancy wellies. I knew they'd come in useful. I knew it. Riding in weather like this and a pair of trainers. My feet would be freezing and all wet as well, so I'm glad we made that purchase. Cool. Yeah, I knew this would be fun. It would be fun for the wheel and also I'll be able to get the camera out. So I'm just going to go for leisurely what I do is I take a little ride around the place. Look at some compositions, some things to take photographs of, and then I'll go and revisit and um, capture the photographs. So I've seen a few little things. So sort of opening up a little bit here. I think this is where the restaurant is. I don't want to go there. Maybe later though. I'll certainly be up for another coffee. That last that last coffee was it was nice, but it wasn't as strong as I was hoping for. Do like, I do like a nice strong coffee. Although things do seem to be quite closed. Let's head back into the forest bit, that was the fun bit. Shall we go up here? There's a little house thing there. Apparently there's um, there's like waterfalls here as well. Or a waterfall somewhere. Or a giant donut. Yeah, here we go. Ah, this is where I started. This is where we started. We've done a loop, done a lap. Might as well go this way then. There's nobody here. So cool. Oh, this is the future. This is. This is the future right here. This is your hoverboard. I feel like this is as close as we're going to get. Has any of you guys seen the the maglev hoverboard? That's pretty cool, but you know, it's not a electric unicycle that's for sure it's bloody brilliant isn't it <laughs> that's why I'm out on it so much I'm so friggin addicted to this thing oh goodness I've had Mika on it my partner I've had her on the V5 doing a bit of training uh, in the hotel this has been pretty good and there's a girl at work who's riding her 14S quite competently now. She's actually taken it out on rides and taking it for trips to and from work. Um, and she's hanging out with uh, our friend Ash, a guy called Ash who has the electric skateboard, which I think I was talking about in the last video. But I didn't. Oh, I get I get so sidetracked with these things. Like I'll have an idea of, oh, maybe I'll talk about this today. Usually is I just talk about what I see, and there's so many good distractions, good things to talk about, especially in a new city, because for a lot of the time in these videos, I'm seeing it for the first time as, as well, so, um, yeah. 
right that is the one thing about riding these conditions on these wheels is that you get bloody freezing oh hello all right heading into the kind of want to go this way yeah, it's so bloody cold man because you don't really move but it's worth it it's worth it for me to be here look at this friggin awesome left the hotel now on my bike if I'd had, I had a bike then still would have been good but I certainly wouldn't be like I said just being able to cruise around and go oh, I'll go down that way oh, I'll go down this way because you know you can just turn around real quick and zip back obviously keeping an eye on your battery power but when you're rocking and riding and rolling and balancing and enjoying life on this in motion the v8 i'm sure the v10 looks like a like a one I, I don't know if you've seen the speedy feats i've only watched one of them the the top speed one he takes a little stack um he's wearing all his gear uh it doesn't seem doesn't seem much different does it the the v10 and v10f or i think that's what it is um so you get the bigger battery but you've also got more weight look at that cool device that's electric yeah you got got more weight as well to push so I wonder if it's counterintuitive if that's the right word you know I've been looking at the M Super X just like that big wheel an extended battery life like today you know on this trail here I'm sort of conscious right now. I've come so far outside the city where I'm aware of hopefully I'll need to keep enough in the bag in the juice tank so I can get back, especially because there's a lot of hills as well. So I'm taking into consideration the environment I'm riding as well. Um, whereas I think with something like that, I wouldn't think about it as much. There's a word for it, isn't there, for people who have electric cars like battery anxiety or something recharge anxiety or I don't know something like that anyway this is bloody beautiful it's going to make for some nice natural environment all shots all interesting stuff oh it's so quiet oh big rocks as well as these little lane pathways that you can just about make out. Let's keep on cruising through here, shall we? The leaves and the light is great. You haven't got that harsh light from the sun. Here we go. Got another human just enjoying the the paths. Oh, this is delicious. I'm glad I brought you along with me on this one. <laughs> Certainly these are my favourite stars of rides. It's like, you know, people who have motorcycle motorbikes and they go off on their weekend rides. Ah, oh, so I feel it, you know. I know why they do it. Having a bit of power underneath your legs. It's just what was I gonna say? Further. I forgot what the word is. <laughs> Propelling your body forward through different environments. It's just great, isn't it? I'm going to come through this way. i keep you guys for too long because I'd also like to get back and take some photographs. But this is just so much fun. Ooh, my eyes are a bit weird, actually, because of that light. I'm glad we've come. Watch my head on that. This is good, getting a bit of blood in my legs. Glad I've come down this way rather than up because I'm not sure we'll be making it. Right, it's getting a bit narrow here. Let's watch out for those pedals. Oh, spin, spin. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. 
stay tight stay tight even leaf even feet oh we've got a little stream All right, so my battery just ran out as I was approaching this little bridge stream thing here. So we're back on. Whoop. Very cool. It does make me want to go for a wee though. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Very, very awesome. This is a good time of year. But I'll tell you what though, I'm, uh, I'm excited for Spain next week. <sighs> Some of the warmer, warmer weather. <sighs> Although I do like this hill here. Let's see if we can go up it. Okay, keep going. Oof, that pedal was pretty close there. <sighs> I do like the warmer weather and the cold weather. I like it all. I do like getting wrapped up. Okay, so I have no idea where I'm going, which is the beauty of it. Watch out for these roots. Yeah, bloody splendid. There's that guy again. All right, tell you what, I might do a little 180, go up this way, and uh, see what else we can find. Battery's still, I'll probably make sure I head back when it goes on just before the orange, orange and red, because like I said in previous videos, I don't want to... I don't really like riding it on a low battery, just in case you do hit a big bump. I was going over the British Bridge uh, two days ago in the cycle lane. It's really busy, a bit of pressure to be going at quite a pace. Um, and I sort of, there's a divide where the bridge had joined. And yeah, anyway, my wheel, I did a little jump up and I think my weight was a bit too far forward. And then it sort of just went wobble, 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 like that. <laughs> but because um, the battery, I just charged it, so the battery was full. And yeah, it kept me on, it was good. But I think at any other time, if I go there with a, a dodgy, not dodgy, a um, low battery, I probably would have flew off, to be honest. So yeah, staying battery savvy. <laughs> I think this might, I might have to walk this bit. Oh, hello. We'll get as far as we can until we have to get to the next step. Pick it up. Oh, goodness. <laughs> next step, come on. Come on. Come on, little wheel. Okay. I think we're coming to like a viewpoint. <sighs> Yeah, I tell you what, you don't want to... I'm going to get the handle out. Whoop! Oh, you're flipping it, come on. <laughs> you do not want to have to carry this thing around for a long distance. I uh, ran out of battery last week. Let's go up on this hill. And... I actually... Uh, it was actually pretty good. I managed to wheel it without it being turned on because the handle just works really well so that's something I've never done before 
I'd always just turn it on. <coughs> so I can like, when I'm doing that, in the shopping markets, supermarkets and stuff now, I just, uh, yeah, turn it off and pretty much push it. Whoo! All right, friends. <coughs> I got the blood flowing. Certainly a lot warmer. <laughs> so I guess this is no. This is a pretty good place to conclude this video. There you go. You got two videos from Gothenburg on this beautiful, mystical, magical day. So damn good. All right. Thanks again, you lovely, beautiful people. Woo! It's gorgeous. I'm gonna send the drone up and get some get some shots from here. It's a perfect spot. Um, I'll see you guys in Spain. Take it easy. Live, laugh, and love. Stay safe. See you soon. Peace.